So I'm really glad that we're back in the booth. We've got some high stakes PLO on our hands, boys and girls. We've got a two time bracelet winner. And we've got Henry Too Rich to fold Kilbane in the commentary booth. Let's go. Uh, and also, I don't know if you caught that, Henry, but Sleevy asks, who is this on the phone? It is High Stakes PLO Heads Up Specialist Am So Good, who is uh, joining <laughs> us today. I thought you were about to say Henry Kilbane. That's going to be like, don't. Well, <laughs> don't <flatter> me, <clears throat> you know? The other voice you hear is multi table tournament. Grinder extraordinaire specialist Henry Kilbane, who takes down Chris Mormon on his days off for a cool quarter mm-hmm. mil. Did not, did not take him down, mate. Well, you know, I try and boost your confidence. Fair. Yeah, I guess there's a difference, uh, difference in potential too. Like he, he could have done more, or he had the opportunity to do a lot more, and he chose the end of not not doing what he could have could have been doing. You know, it's like Ike that. Just decided to quit his. Oh, this is a big problem, right? Maybe, maybe we talked about it. Yeah, that's yeah. uh. So it was a forty-eight on the flop, uh, one-third sizing from chance when it was checked to by Phil on this queen nine-seven rainbow, and then chance went ahead with a full pot size seventy-two hundred on the turn. Obviously, the ten jack is available with a plethora of redraws. And I don't imagine that Phil would have too many sets here, but that is what he's representing as he jams all in on the river and puts uh, Chance to the test, who's not snap calling, which is obviously great for the Galphon fans. Yeah, I think when our opponent polarizes turn and we obviously have a nut changing river, we get to lead at quite a high frequency on this board pairing river card. Obviously, you get a be balanced enough to have sets as well as you know hands like king queen king queen nine um, as bluffs. What do you think? I'm so good. Do we get to do a lot of leading on this river? Oh no, I don't think you do. You don't? No, I think there's very little. Oh wow. Okay. Go on, please go go into uh, into more detail if you don't mind. Um. Yeah. Sure. Um. Well, Chance is not going to have many 7x in his range. Um, <laughs> I say that he just has that, <laughs> but uh, he's just he's just not uh, not going to have that many. Or like boats with 7x, um, he will have some bluffs with 7x. It's been a weird ride <laughs> so far. It has. We we had we had that that break because Chance had lost his first roll. Then we had Chance go on that 600k heater in about. What was it? Five sessions. That's what it was it felt like, like. A, Honestly, I, I don't know if you if you saw that. I'm um, so good. If you, if you were around for any of that, if you quite literally went from being down 300k, making the redeposit, and then within within a week was was up around about 300k. It was, it was pretty insane. It was like six figure win after six figure win, day after day, um, and now Phil was managed to. Cut the deficit back down to yeah, buy in, buy in and a half. Yeah, once you've seen what he's done with Vinny and just made that massive comeback versus him, it feels like any any other swing is just kind of like a little bit smaller, you know. Um, like that that comeback was pretty incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah, pl- playing Phil is very swingy. Uh, just. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, you just play for gaming. <laughs> oh man, oh, Vinny Vidi lurking in the chat. Saying thanks for the shout out, Henry Kilbane. No worries, my man. Thanks for keeping us entertained for what was it? I want to say twelve weeks during lockdown. We we're entertained. Courtesy yeah, of if, Vin, uh, if Vinny's interested Vin. in playing a ch- a, another challenge, I, I would take him up on it. Um, Ooh. I, I would, oh, I would give him up to do it if he wants it. If, oh. if he wants to. Okay. Well, we we know he's in the chat because he's he's lurking. He responded on Twitter. My, so my. I don't know. But I'll let, you, let you guys. I don't. You guys talk that one out. I don't want to get involved. Listen, I'll happily commentate on if you guys. Want to let us know when the uh, when the tape could run and maybe be able to 
th a session or two in each week. That'd be amazing. I'd love to do something like that. Yeah, I'd spot him. I'd spot him um, something. You know, just like whatever it's side bed or. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think side oh, bed boy. makes the most sense. There's, oh there's boy a, we're not going to stand in your way and uh speaking of standing in the way obviously we have a monster 61k pot where the best hand is not going to stick in phil's way as he hits that pair up on the river boats for the win and takes down a monster pot uh, i know i've bought pieces of bonimo over time i've bought pieces of uh, 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 Alex Foxen and his Lady Luck, um, Kristen Bignall. Mm -hmm. And uh, love Kristen. Oh yeah, people will post up their packages online, uh, so I think that's a, a solid way that I, yeah, bought action over time. Uh, what What about you, Am So Good? Have you ever been in that world of buying action? Are you more of a stick to yourself, <laughs> stick to your guns? You know, you're a solo man out here in this world. You're such a pigeon, mate. <laughs> You'd left like 10 minutes ago. That's why I said thank you so much. That I'm so good for joining us. Well, you know what? He, 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 didn't, uh, he didn't say anything. So He did. He messaged. And I was just like, <laughs> Messages he's like hey, guys, real. I have to go. I said, no worries, bud. Thanks for joining. Just jump out whenever. Because I know that when he goes, it's because like there's either a, a game that started or... <laughs> you know, whatever, and doesn't really have time for an outro, so it just makes it easier for him to leave, and then to That's say thank you to him once we have the time to say thank you to him. But it's okay, man. It's right. That, you know, that's why you're the guest commentator. You know, you're the guy that's been brought in, and you know, I'm, I'm holding down the fort. And talking of holding down the fort, how about a little 18k pot? You am so bad. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, how about 18k pot? Let's up that to a 51k pot if it does get called by Mr. Galifon. Chance, obviously, Dun repping that 7-8 here. Yeah, diamonds brick. Diamonds brick, 8-jack queen bricks, uh, which definitely, if an 8-jack queen is out there, it's most likely... Paired with another eight or had some diamonds to accompany it. So, uh, I, I think we have witnessed before bluffs going through in this spot. And primarily the bluffs here, as we've grown accustomed to, are going to be like a missed flush draw with, say, uh, an eight blocker in there. Does that sound about right from what you've witnessed, Henry? Yeah. It's interesting, though, right? Because, like, a lot of our eight blocker hands are, are going to have side cards wrapped around it which in this case are going to be some two pairs and do we actually turn those into bluffs do we you're, play those as check call your two pair would combos? we rather yeah like would we rather turn them into to check call sick hero call from mr gal fond no straight blocker two pair and diamonds in his hand that's the good old-fashioned disrespectful but still gangster as fuck i don't believe you i call that's what that was boys and girls so i just want to have a look see how much first class is first class uh you gonna fly all the boys out here first class or are you just gonna like do it yourself no, like? don't, don't, don't be silly pigeons fly whatever they want to fly damn i don't know if i even want to be your friend Pigeon fly, what pigeons fly. Shit. So, uh, if anyone out there is a pigeon trying to fly with Henry, he's going to big time you. So, Holy I did see, shit. Yeah, expensive Flights as fuck, right? Right now. Wow. How much is it? It's like 140 quid one way. No, what? Wait, what? what? No. For March 20... Yeah, March, man. What? What, what? Chance with the sit-out stack resets. And so it looks like Phil is up roughly 50,000 over on 
that table, we're going to pull up his new table, where apparently it has the exact same board dynamics as the table currently at play now. Wee. Wee. All right, so let's get the proper table up and running. Oof. We're slightly off kilter, of course. And we will get that back in sync. Uh, looks like it needs to be expanded just a hair. Welcome to the joys of streaming. Boom. Chance Corneth with Nut Boat. Just what a, you know, just Bill Perkins rich. Yeah. You want to die with yeah. nothing? <laughs> die with zero. Is it Ampip? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, Bill Perkins is just very rich. He has some money. <laughs> that's a nice way of putting it, Henry. It's... He has a little bit of coin in his pocket. He's got some sunshine in his pocket as the song would go. He's uh he played Doug heads up yesterday I want to say <laughs> yeah Doug Doug fucking cracks me up man I mean that guy has got to be smoking really good Nevada Kush or something because <laughs> some of the stuff that he comes out with Twitter just like some conspiracy theory that Dnex has now got Bill Perkins playing him heads up when him and Dean Eggs aren't playing to distract him from studying his match. So basically in in Doug's world, the Let way that he sees it real going fast, as we wow. just see a massive forty K all in won by just a wow. pair of nines on the river. <laughs> it was basically rap what? versus rap, flush draw versus flush draw. And yeah, uh, uh, Phil had everything there dominated for Chance, uh, leaving Chance drawing to a deuce, a four, or a five is what I'm seeing here. We'll, we'll get that clipped real fast. And we're following it up with our first four bet of the day, Henry. And uh, I don't see Chance backing down right now. I feel like he's uh, he's pushing the boundaries and wanting to get the money in there. So we'll get back to to conspiracy theories and and Daniel and Bill Perkins and Doug uh, but I think we we are in for a treat this last uh, little bit here yeah Phil Galfon get it in good can he get it in good this time around chance with the five ball Phil, Phil after flatting. four betting. so obviously yeah. at this stage of the game any uh, any pair from Phil Any is going to have to, yeah. is going, uh, get, going to be getting 10 to 1 on a call which means we need what, like 5% equity which we're always going to have <laughs> back Hello. flush draw and uh, yeah. you hate no to dice. get in with the 10 high there um, but yeah it's backdoor flush draw backdoor straight draws which almost materialized oh, man, what a spicy 10 card R and Jesus just say <laughs> teaser on the turn. Uh, so swapping forty k pots. Uh, we try chat. We try. It's it's a tough one to keep track of. You know the snap sit outs at two hundred bigs uh, breaks. Uh, getting kicked away from tables, but I think we're I think we're within a buy in today. If you are that confident, I'll piggyback on and say that if we're wrong, I will offer up uh, a, a free roll on Henry's next tournament. Um, oh, okay. I mean, I'm not doing it. Obviously, you're paying out, but I, I think you can handle it. So we'll do a 1% free roll. No. You know, I, I, may, do, uh, I may actually do some sort of free roll um, for my main event seat. I'm a generous man. 
Don't be silly. Turn me. Don't be silly. If you want to do a free roll, give it to me, mate. I mean, we'll we'll talk numbers. You you just made too much. Uh, <laughs> you just made too much for me to free roll you. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Friends and family discount, Henry. Whoa. Holy shit. How is it every time I look away for two seconds, we just develop another massive pot? So. That one just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I think any time that you have a windfall of this nature, um, it, it's important to take some time, especially if you've already been feeling a little bit burned out. And there's two lines of thought. You can either just uh, move forward and continue riding that momentum, or you can do exactly what you're discussing right now of taking a break. You're already thinking about it. You're kind of burning out. So... I, I honestly, what I think it is, is you need a uh, little bit of a change up in your overall day to day life. And, uh, you know, we've talked about offline before. You've watched Yes Theory. Um, you, you know, you're familiar with those guys. And I think this is a good time to just try new shit. Like, literally do the old, uh, you can't say no for 48 hours sort of thing. Or you just, mm. you know, if anyone asks you to do something, hey, like, you want to go to a concert this weekend? And, like, normally you'd make an excuse and be like, oh, I'm too busy, I can't do that. But now they ask you and you just have to be like, yeah, sure, let's go. Um, and, and just force yourself into new various interactions and environments. Uh, the sad reality is COVID does put a big damper on something like that. Because normally yeah. I'd just be like, Henry, you're, you're in the middle of, hold on, putting well, a damper on things. Sorry, yeah. We yeah, do have... Uh, a massive pot here developing top two pair versus top two Whoa. pair. Phil turns the bigger two pair, but Chance rivers the flush and uh, takes down a 52k pot. They're flipping on the flop. Actually, uh, Phil was just ever so slightly behind, but binked his perfect card uh, only for Chance to turn it back around on him. And uh, yeah, Ch Chance is making one hell of a comeback here. Only down about 30,000 on the day is what I'm seeing. I'd say less, man. I reckon it's... it's 20? Buying. Yeah. I can adjust. I'd say it's... Say about a buy. What? Uh, yeah, that was, that was a hand. Jack Six Deuce Rainbow Board produces one of the largest pots of the day. <clears throat> Soho Ski Racer saying Ryan's my old coach from back in the day. Um, yeah, I I see him at the win quite often, um, and he's usually dominating. Always making some deep runs. Speaking of dominating, Henry, so if I'm not mistaken, you and Mr. Landon Tice are, uh, yeah, they're your buddies, right? Yes, sir. And he recently had a 200k score at the Venetian, correct? He did. He did indeed. So, did you get to swaggle it in his face? Hold no. on. Swaggling in the face is a 30k pot heading towards Phil as he boats up on the river, deuces full, baby boat, uh, versus the blockers of chance, fives and eights. So, nice little pick up there, 15k profit for Phil. Is that real hunger, or is that just because there's a lot of hype around Queen's the Queen's Gambit. Gambit and all the poker players think that there's basically going to be a poker story that is like the exact same like that, like some American wizard beating the Russians and the the nasty Europeans, you know, heads up for roll style, you know, going to EPT Prague and whatever you know you're a wizard what. Harry you're a wizard Harry you're our yeah, wizard I don't, don't know I know what you're saying <laughs> I, I, I think there's some <laughs> stories that are compelling enough you didn't even need to invent a brag segue that time but no I just he was all so I'm so good trying to follow the Doug model very interesting here as 
Phil over on table one is being full pot size on this uh, rather neutral board as far as uh, draws are concerned. Obviously, yeah, you have some straight draws in there, but he's he's representing at least a seven, so if not boat. But it's an interesting one to take that full pot size bet on the turn. And uh, Chance does call and snap check the river. 10-8 does get there. Don't know how relevant that will be moving forward. Phil really thinking it through and trying to decide if he does want to barrel off. Usually you expect Henry to see a lot of his bluffs shut down after getting called on the turn. Uh, and he does check back. Wow. So Chance decided to call him on the turn with a gutty. Jack 8, along with a pair of jacks, drills jacks full on the river. Mm. The one that's still... Well, there's two that I, I still feel slightly jaded about. Um, Bonomo was selling for the one drop the year that he... Yeah, the year he won it. And I'd already like mm. bought pieces of him before and other shit. Uh, but I just didn't see it. I literally like zoned it and didn't see it. I would have yeah, done 1 or 2%, which is... You know, 10,000 or 20,000. Uh, but I was, you know, to have a very nice summer at that point. I was like, okay, I'll, I would have bought 1 or 2%. They binks it and it would have been 8x your money. Um, so, you know, either 80 or 160. And I'm just like, fuck. Uh, and then oh, wow. the other one, I don't know if he ever was selling, like, but I know Alex Livingston. You know, we've played a lot of games together. Um, and if he had been selling for the main and I'd been around... I would have snap bought because I, you know, have huge respect for his game. Speaking of snapping, we do have Phil snapping all in here on this Ace Deuce Seven Four board. So asking the question of Chance if he wants to get the money in. Uh, at least we have the potential here for a forty. What would that be there? Forty-four thousand dollar pot, I believe. And yeah, I was, I was about to say. Um, oh wow, we get some 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 trash talk going on in the chat like got some dot dot dots in the chat and i cannot wait to get onto twitter and see what the final tally for today's session was could be a buying up could be a buying down for mr galfond very slow start coming back in today's session it took almost what an hour and a half till after the first break I want to say uh, when we got Am So Good in for a stack to go flying in and Phil looked like he was going to be off to a six figure lead and uh, well sorry a six figure win on the day back in the green but chance with that little uh, end of session heat mate yeah we, we've come to uh kind of get used to it and grow accustomed to the heat that comes from chance in the back half of these challenges. And uh, sadly for the Galphon fans, it's nothing new, but there's nothing but love here for both of these players. And I think we saw more or less a fairly break-even day um, as we move forward once again to be rejoined tomorrow as we see the continuation of the Galphon challenge. 